Hello there, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World on Medium, YouTube, and DanielRosal.tech. So for today's video, I want to take a look at a VPN that I was sent to take a look at, and uh, this VPN is Thunder VPN. Uh, by the way, he's not sent to take a look take a look at this VPN from the VPN company, the vendor. So this is just my independent review and my thoughts about it. So uh, this is, I thought would be interesting because it's one of those obscure VPNs that I like to uh, investigate. And the first thing, of course, in any good online investigative process uh, would be to take a look at their, uh, see what comes up in Google. So as you can see, you have Thunder VPN. Uh, they do have a listing on the App Store. Um, I'm not sure this is actually the same uh, company in it, but I'm saying that because the logo looks different um, and the messaging is different and it's different. So this Thunder VPN here um, is thunder.freesignal.com. Now the first thing, now th this point might seem a little bit pedantic, but there'd be a few reasons I'd be already hesitant without knowing any other details about this VPN. And uh, you know, just looking at the fact the text here uh, let me zoom out because it could be okay. That that was unfair. That was just a zoom thing. Um, but basically, I did have a point about their website. So you have uh, unlimited bandwidth. That obviously needs to, should be unlimited. Uh, no register required. I would say no registration. Worldwide needs to have a gap in it. No log or track. So the the English is poor. It's it doesn't have its own website. It's thunder dot dot com. And have a look at this. The next to the copyright, the email address if we hover over is a uh, signallab07 at gmail.com. So personally, I wouldn't uh, entrust my. I, I I would stop here basically if I was actually looking at buying this. I would not trust my data to a uh, VPN company that looks like it's got a free logo. And I mean, it could it, it might not be free, but that looks blurry um, and pixelated. I mean, have a look at the quality there. Um, it's got spelling errors on its website, and uh, but it, so it is only only for um, Android. So this is a different company, uh, Signal Lab. It's only Android. Let me actually just make sure, um, just to compare these things, and just to take a look at this Chrome tool as well, because I reckon they're all different. This is by Signal Lab, and this is by New Keen Technology Limited. So they're different, not related Thunder VPNs, and this is by Advice for PC. That does look like the same thing. Okay, so they have a uh, a Chrome uh, web store thing as well there, but um, I, they don't have a Windows client, it's in a proper client. Uh, so the one I'm taking a look at in any event is just the Android. So before I do anything, now just to be clear, this is a Ubuntu Linux computer and um, I want to be taking a look at the Android client. So I'm using uh, this tool here is called Jenny Motion. It's just an Android emulator, but I always like to just make sure uh, when I'm doing these uh, test just to make sure that everything is working all right before I even begin. So this is my uh, internet connection uh, as I expected. It's showing 90 megabits per second so I have an asymmetrical internet connection here. I typically get 90 to 95 on the downlink and about one or two unfortunately uh, only one or two on the uplink. There, There is no symmetrical internet in my area but just before we begin so 90 is what I'm getting here. And I just want to make sure that in my emulator I get something, uh, and I, I'm using the same internet speed test measurement uh, device, fast.com. So we're getting, you know, you can expect a small bit of variance. Um, you know, I've started this test uh, a few seconds after the first one, so one megabit per second in the difference, 1991. So I think we can call that a fair and successful cross check. Okay, so looking at Thunder VPN. Um, it's pretty bare boned firstly, so when I undock the, the window menu, I can see, um, I like to go through everything just to see, get a feel for it. So I did subscribe uh, for the process of this test to their weekly plan. Um, so if I click onto my VIP account, the illustrious VIP account, um, I can see my order and I paid as you can see here, 22 and that weird symbol here is the uh, Israeli shackle. So that's my local currency. So running that into US dollars, that's about $6.50. I think the actual official price for uh, American customers or you know customers on the US dollar is about $6. So that's the weekly cost. Um, and now their pricing is not listed on their website, but some of these VPN review websites have uh, pricing. So it says 
VPNfan.com uh, says one month is nine ninety nine, and you get twelve months for sixty. So um, I'm not sure that I can check when this review was written. Um, typically, the pricing doesn't change that drastically. They're saying a weekly plan is six dollars, a twelve months for sixty, and one month for nine ninety nine. Uh, now this just to be um, transparent, not that I don't know the date, I'm recording this video on the 21st of uh, July. So that this is the pricing as of this time. Um, so uh, let us go back to our uh, VPN over here. So that's how much it costs. Um, so you know, that's not $9 a month or 10 bucks a month really. Um, it's not really that cheap. Uh, I, it's not, you know, vastly expensive, but when you're comparing that to a lot better known VPNs, doesn't really have a cost advantage. The weekly thing is nice, it's a bit more flexible. Um, so getting back to the menu here, there's one page of uh, settings and uh, the thing to say about this is that there is no uh, kill switch. So there isn't a kill switch for the, uh, you know, the whole application, a kill switch meaning that, um, you know, when the VPN is disconnected, that will actually disconnect network traffic for the Android device, doesn't exist. There is no global kill switch, no application kill switch. Uh, there's really pretty much nothing here. Uh, you can choose to have um, the VPN connect to a server when the VPN itself starts. That's the first option here that we can toggle on and off. Notify when there's a new version. Notifications. Uh, it does give you one notification um, and that's the, uh, you'll, I'll see it when the VPN is connected, but pretty much nothing in terms of options. Um, there is an FAQ page and this is actually revealing. So conspicuously absent from the uh, from the settings page was any mention of the protocol, uh, what protocol that this VPN uses to connect. So uh, the first, uh, the first FAQ here is uh, written again in garbled English with chaotic uh, punctuation. Sorry for being such a grammar snob, but that again would really dent my confidence. How to connect you do the connect button why does it fail? Why does it fail? Why does Thunder VPN fail to connect? How can I close? So there's no so there's no mention of uh, directly mention of protocol until we get to this final FAQ. How can Thunder VPN protect my data? And it says here we use SSL to encrypt your internet data. So basically, this uh, appears. To, so please feel safe. So this actually appears to me. Uh, so let's just uh, leave that question. Um, unanswered but uh, it certainly doesn't have a you don't have a choice of protocols um, and that's how it's connecting its traffic so um, how you pick a server so that once you once you subscribe for their premium plans um, you get th these are the free servers so you have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine free servers and uh, you have this nice well nice auto selecting that'll you know automatically connect to the fastest server and it looks like it's picked the Netherlands here because I am a flag wizard. So let's just quickly take a look at what we get through the Netherlands server. Um, and bear in mind that this is what it automatically selected as its fastest server in the network. So far, not very good. That's very strange because um, I have actually got some better speeds on this. That's pathetic. 1.9 megabits per second. I don't think it's going to budge beyond that. So, um, that wasn't impressive. Uh, I'm just verifying we are connected here. Let's try. So, I did have some better success. So, there's nine uh, free servers, and when you go on to that, when you upgrade to premium, you get, I counted 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 from Italy, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now, yeah, the strongest server is, uh, it has this little bar indication, so you can see Germany's up there on top. Let's give, uh, let's give Ireland a try. And our kind of weird uh, guy is uh, doing his thing and looking happier about his life now. Um, so, let's go back to fast.com. 1.8 is what the uh, what sorry what the uh, server in uh, what it called its best server in the Netherlands uh, came out to so that's pretty terrible uh, so let's try Ireland now yeah this is not looking good so this is actually quite strange uh, here we go picking up a small bit so all right this is looking better. 
So we're now up to uh, 14 megabyte, megabits per second, 15, and it looks like to me. So this is kind of the best speed I've actually got through their servers, 15 for the best ones, and I got that from a couple of connection points. So while this testing business is going on, I'm just going to quickly put uh, YouTube onto my emulator and uh, just to demonstrate, I always like to see how video content fares through the various VPN endpoints. Okay, so we did not did not have success. There is Google Play is throwing up an error. Uh, so I've just opened um, I've just opened YouTube in my Google Chrome browser here. So Ireland was about 15. Now that's well and good. I mean, just about well and good. But let me take let me show these speeds on the US server. So there's two US servers, um, US West and US East. So I'm going to try US East first. Now we are connected. So let's go again back to our uh, fast dot com or fast app I should say powered by Netflix and let's take a look at the speed we're getting here so actually this is better than the last time uh, it's very very finicky these servers uh, which makes me think there might be some even some throttling going on so I got actually only two the last time this time I came up to um, 15 uh, megabits per second and just to show what YouTube looks like so I've just opened uh, the mobile version of YouTube um, and just to just to quickly show that I am still connected to the US server here. Um, the mo and I always just do a quick check just to make sure I'm still getting targeted advert advertisements based on where my Google account is uh, registered in, but uh, I can see that it's more a US uh, centric, you know, offering. So this is 15 and um, I have the audio coming through my headset here and uh, you know, it's usable. Um, it's usable. And the, but the quality here is uh, automatically scaled down to uh, 360p. So let me just force it up to 720. We still don't actually get any lagging. Um, so obviously I'm just looking at this within the emulator. But um, and you can see that the you can see the buffering. If I just bring this over here, you can see the buffering taking place here. Um, it doesn't look too bad to me. So you can you can definitely use this connection. Um, so the US connection works. The so the connection speed on average is, you know, as I said, in the region of, I have got a couple of really bad times, um, 1.2. Let me just try the other US server uh, before wrapping up here. Let's try US West. And let's just see what we get again through the uh, testing on fast.com. You can see Ashburn US is the, was a connection point over here for the, um, US East, Seattle US, that makes sense for US West. And again, we're getting about, uh, you know, 10 to 15 in that kind of uh, category here, over here. So let's just go back to their, their endpoint. So we have the UK, two US servers, Germany, France, Ireland, Netherlands, Italy, Finland, Canada, India, Singapore, Hong Kong, Japan, South Korea, and Australia. So uh, and Australia is showing as a, it's now showing by the way, when I was trying this the last time, I got about half, at least four of these were two-star servers. So let's just quickly, to wrap up the speed test, see what a weaker server looks like. Uh, this was the only server in our list here that was getting the Australia server getting two, uh, two bars only. Um, so let me just go back to fast. So you can see there are really problematic servers in their network. So this is clearly not even getting up to one megabit uh, per second on the download speed. So that would be really tough. Uh, 1.3, I think it's gonna top out, top out at about 1.3 or there. So let's just go back to YouTube now that it's uh, moved on to the Australian endpoint. And you can see now we're getting some ABC News Australia content. Let's just try to watch this video from Sky News Australia. And you'd be surprised, it's scaled down to 480 and it's not actually giving me any options above 480. But a 480 YouTube is uh, is workable. So it's actually pretty hard on a, you know, even on a really bad connection to get, uh, to have content so so that it's unstreamable. But um, certainly there are, as you can see, limitations. So um, the final thing I would say about this Thunder VPN is going through the menu, I didn't see 
uh, any option for support. So we went through the FAQ page, we went through the very, very minimalist settings page. There's a share option, there's a feedback screen, which kind of looks like support, uh, but it's not exactly clear what that does in your email. And again, it just kind of looks a bit amateurish. This is all in capitals. Server is full slash sleepy. I have no idea what a sleepy server means. Um, and Rados. Uh, so that's basically my concluding thoughts about Thunder VPN would be that if you're going to be spending 10 bucks a month on an Android VPN that uh, you can get a better quality product. You can get a, you can get a product firstly with a wider server network. You can definitely get better speeds. Uh, so we plummeted from 90 to about 15 on our top speed and our lowest connections were you know the region of um, 1 megabit per second. And again I have got 1 megabit per second through the US server so it seems to me that the server network uh, is not particularly stable. I'm just, I'm just seeing if there's any, if I do a refresh here, if there's any change in the bar ratings for the servers. Let's just have a quick look. Okay, this is taking a while to low, taking surprisingly, you can see there was a few that were in the two category, uh, Japan, South Korea and Australia, they've sped up. So um, I would say kind of just too much change in terms of the server not transparent about the protocol used, certainly no selection about the protocol used, relatively small server network, uh, relatively slow speeds on some servers, no clear help resource out there. So my feelings would really be that for, uh, as I said, for $10 a month on an Android VPN, you can get a better quality product. So I hope this uh, test run through of Thunder VPN has been of interest and look forward to bringing some more uh, VPN and technology product reviews onto YouTube soon.